Hi, this is Karthik. I welcome you all for this session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to use frame pages and interactive buttons in Microsoft Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat the topic how to use frames and interactive buttons in Microsoft Expression Web 4. In order to achieve this task, we should open Microsoft Expression Web 4. How to open Microsoft Expression Web 4? It's quite simple. Go to Start and then All Programs and then go to Microsoft Expression then click on Microsoft Expression Web 4. Once again, I repeat this step. Go to Start, go to All Programs and go to Microsoft Expression and click on Microsoft Expression Web 4 in order to open it. When you click on Microsoft Expression Web 4, you can able to see the IDE which is used to develop our page and now our task is we want to open a frame page how to open a frame page go to file new page and click on frames page once again I repeat the steps go to file new click on pages and click on frame pages when you click on frame pages you can see various categories like banner and content contents footer footer notes header header footer and contents horizontal split nested hierarchy top down hierarchy vertical split there are plenty so i'm going to use banner and content just select banner and content and click ok so when you click OK, where you can able to find a frames. Uh, it's a header frame, and this one is a main frame, and this one is a content frame. Once again, I repeat it, and this one is a header frame, and this one is a main, and this one is content frame. So now there are two options. Each frames contain two options: set initial page, new page; set initial page, new page; set initial page and new page. Whenever you wish to create a new page, click on new page. Whenever you wish to initialize the existing page, you click on initial page. Or whenever you want to use the existing page, click on initial page. Or else, if you want to create a new page, click on new page. Now I'm going to click on new page. Let us say, welcome to my blog and I'm going to select the text and make it bigger by selecting H1 and make it center and if you wish you can add something else right here and now I'm going to use an existing page for the main content so set initial page so I'm going to recent where I have some uh, pages which I already created some web pages in which I have already created so I'm going to use that one or else click on set initial page and if you know the current location browse it and choose the file you wish to use so anyway I'm going to reason file I'm going to select the existing file so where you can able to see there's an existing file and here I'm going to create a new page by clicking new page and I'm going to use interactive buttons so how to use the interactive buttons so go to insert and click on interactive button when you click on interactive button, interactive buttons pop-up window will be opened where you can able to see button, font and image tabs. So where you will be having plenty of button styles, so choose as per your requirements and if you want to change the text, here is the option change the text, let us say Google. And you wish to browse the link, just click on ring and here I am going to use the target frame where it is to be displayed will be decided by the target frame what is the use of target frame 
if you wish to display the content in a specific frame you want to use the target frame click target frame and choose main frame click OK and type let us say www.google.com and click OK and next press enter I'm going to insert one more interactive button let us say uh, Gmail Gmail and for link first I'm going to select some other button style and browse and select the target frame and type uh, www.gmail.com and click OK and click OK now I'm going to insert one more go to insert as click on interactive button and choose this style as you like and type YouTube and browse click on browse in order to set the target frame and select the target frame and type www.youtube.com and I'm going for one more press enter go to insert and click on interactive buttons and select the text as you like or buttons and if you wish to change the font you can change the font font size bold italic and if you wish to use some images everything is possible right here you can change the colors and so I'm going to use Yahoo and just click on browse and go to target frame click on target frame you wish to display the content and click OK and now type the address www.yahoo.com and click OK. Now, once you have done all the tasks, save it. How to save? You click on save and go to the desired folder. Let us say in this, I want to save three times. Why? This is the first page, and this is the second page, and this is the third page. And how many buttons one two three four so now see let us say save page one page one and let us say page two and click OK and let us say page three once you have saved all the web pages now it's time to run so how to run click here either you can run it on Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox whatever browser you have you can run it on so I'm going to use Chrome so now you can see we are use this interactive buttons along with the frames when I click Google see this page where I don't have internet so it won't go to Google so where you can able to see its proxy fight but anyway what is the address the main the content of the mainframe has been changed when you click on Gmail you see it's Gmail so the content will be changed and Yahoo so it's going for Yahoo so likewise you can use interactive buttons along with the frames I think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you